ES Audio. Hello, I'm David Marsland and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, the tech being used at Glastonbury. But first, astronomers have discovered the fastest growing supermassive black hole of the last 9 billion years and it's believed to be swallowing the equivalent of Earth every second. To find one growing this fast at such a late cosmic age was quite a surprise. That's lead researcher Dr Christopher Olkin at the Australian National University. He says that people have been searching for supermassive black holes since the 1960s, but this one was just outside the places they looked. About 7 billion light years away, this particular object popped up in someone's list of candidates and it turned out to be something very different from close pairs of stars in our own galaxy. The team wants to use the discovery to find out why it's growing so rapidly. Whether the galaxy has had a recent merger between two big galaxies that might have been able to throw lots of material in towards the black hole, maybe have their two black holes spiraling together to form an even larger black hole. But don't worry, Christopher told us it doesn't pose any danger to Earth. A giant comet first spotted by the Hubble telescope when it was one and a half billion miles away five years ago is getting close enough to Earth to finally see. You'll still need a telescope to spot C2017K2, even though astronomers think it could be up to 100 miles wide with a tail 500,000 miles long. That's the width of six Jupiters. It's thought to be one of the biggest comets to ever be seen in the galaxy from Earth. It'll be at its closest to us on July 14th and will likely not be back for millions of years. Twitter shareholders are expected to vote by August at the latest on whether or not Elon Musk should buy the company after the platform's board unanimously voted in favour. A filing with the US Securities and Exchange Commission revealed the board believes the deal is in the best interests of the social media company. There has been speculation that Musk is trying to reduce the costs of the $44 billion deal or even pull out completely, but he signalled intent to buy with a meeting with Twitter staff last week. Former England footballer Rio Ferdinand's calling for a new social media platform to be built because the current giants can't get a grip on bullying, he says. He was speaking at the launch of the Don't Face It Alone campaign at 10 Downing Street. It's been set up by the Diana Award to tackle online abuse. A polls found almost 6 in 10 parents feel powerless to protect their children on the web, with Rio saying he thinks another platform might be the answer. Now. Can you stand on one leg for more than 10 seconds? If not, researchers from Bristol Medical School say you have an 84% increased chance of death within seven years. So the stakes are pretty high. They studied 1,702 people from Brazil aged between 51 and 75. One in five didn't pass the test and were found to be more likely to be older, overweight and have diabetes. And more than 17% of those who failed died within seven years. The researchers are calling for the challenge to be included in midlife health checks. Next. The Canterbury suburbs were home to some of Britain's earliest humans. Excavations made on the outskirts of the cathedral city have found remains of a Neanderthal ancestor, confirming they occupied the area up to 620,000 years ago. That's when what is now mainland UK was still attached to Europe. The findings by a Cambridge University team come a century after stone tool artefacts were first uncovered at the site in Fordwich. Let's go to the ads now. Come back to learn how a robot rooster is helping glass to re-level us. Why not give us a rate and follow? Welcome back. Loud as he may try, not even a rooster could rouse a Glastonbury reveller over the din, particularly on day two. But could a robot one do it? I suppose we're having a little bit of fun with the Glastonbury team this year with the creation of what we believe is the world's first uh, connected uh, rooster. That's Sam Kem from EE, the technology partner for the festival. Their robot rooster announces acts coming up on the pyramid stage so you don't miss the bands you came to see. And it's also pumping out 5G Wi-Fi so the more than 200,000 people going to Worthy Farm this year can definitely send that selfie. This year we're predicting more than 200 terabytes of data at the festival and if you just put that into practical terms that's the equivalent of viewing about 8 billion Instagram posts or even 6 million individual unique downloads. Now... 
A wristbone fertility tracker designed to help people conceive has been found to potentially be able to spot COVID days before symptoms emerge. A team from the Cardiovascular Research Institute of Basel tested the AVA bracelet, which monitors breathing, heart rate and skin temperature. They found there are significant changes in the body during the incubation period for the infection and during recovery, but the warning didn't catch all cases of COVID and more studies are needed. And finally... Who doesn't want a TV that has Darth Vader breathing at you when you turn it on? LG's Star Wars C2 set does that and it's just gone on sale in the US. The remote control mimics a lightsaber. It has a Star Wars themed menu and exclusive galleries of content including storyboards from the movies and posters. There are only 501 being made available in a nod to Vader's elite stormtrooper unit and it'll cost you nearly $3,000. You're up to date. Check out our daily news podcast, The Leader. It's looking at proposed changes to human rights laws in the UK. It's out at 4pm. This show is back tomorrow at 1.